and certain outcomes are useful at this time period for Goshen and New Smart and you to look at them? It's very useful um, to see what those guys can do, uh, get an opportunity to play against quality teams, get an opportunity to play together, see what they look like with um, some of the guys who've been playing a bunch of minutes. But um, it's uh, a positive because they've been working all year, drill work and, you know, going down to the G League and coming back and more drill work. And now they have an opportunity to play. So it's great. Is that correct in the assumption that all three are out? What are the biggest strides that you've seen Garuba and Knicks each make over the course of the season? I know, obviously, injuries limited. People. Yeah, yeah. So Garuba, it's hard to kind of see because he's been injured and, and uh, he had that long stretch where he was injured. But um, his kind of awareness of the NBA game and understanding of the NBA game has really come a long way. Um, and him getting some minutes will help that. Um, getting some experience will help that. And then Knicks had some really good moments in the G League and, and got better and a lot better uh, in his moments in the G League. And then that's played well when he's been with us as well. So uh, I'm, I'm anxious to see those guys play. Coach, I know winning back-to-back -back games was big for this group, but to do it in two different ways, to be up big and have to maintain that lead and then have to come and fight from behind in the second game, what did that show you about the growth of this team and how they were able to string together wins in different ways? Yeah, I mean, that's what it's about. It's about learning how to win. It's about um, figuring out ways to solve the puzzle, whether it's holding on to a lead and uh, increasing it which we did in the first game or, um, you know, not playing great in the first half and totally could have succumbed to five and seven, five games and seven nights at halftime and it was 60 to 16. We didn't play great defense and then um, figuring out a way, I believe we held, held them under 100 points that game uh, to really buckle down defensively and knowing that, um the five and seven would be over. We just got to get through this half and play as hard as we can, and especially on the defensive end, and then share the ball. I think we had 34 assists in that game. So, uh, yeah, doing it in different ways is important. Learning how to win is obviously important. And, um, you know, the growth of the group is evident. When you have a player like Knicks in these last couple of games that you have uh, remaining in the season, at what position are you evaluating, man? At the point guard or the shooting guard? Point guard. Uh, is there anything specific you're looking for, I guess, in these last seven games from a holistic development standpoint? Um, I just want to see them play. <laughs> you know, I want uh, I want our guys who have been trending upwards, like Jalen and, and Scoot, to keep going that way. And it's a long season, and we are seven game. We have seven games left, so that means we played seventy five games. So uh, to continue that focus, to continue working on your game, to continue knowing that there's only two weeks left in the season, to have that focus mindset is important because when we're a playoff team, we're going to be gearing up for the next, <laughs> you know, the first round series and to be, um, to not have focus at this point of the season or to, to not be kind of into the game plan or concentrating is doing a disservice to uh, everybody. So um, making sure that guys are just kind of pointing in the right direction, that's what we want to see. Is it good to have a is it good to have a young group of guys though that just want to play basketball? Yeah, it's great. It's great. They just want to hoop. <laughs> they just want to hoop. They want to play and and uh, they're so competitive and they are great to work with and they improve and that's the that's like the great thing about them is they're not satisfied with um kind of where they are. They know that there's improvement ahead of, ahead of them individually and then as well as a group.
We've great. seen Jalen. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> We've seen Jalen make improvements as the season has gone along with the ball in his hands as a decision maker, as a shot creator. What have you thought about his growth when he doesn't have the ball in his hands, kind of you know, utilizing his athleticism as a cutter or just floating with the right spots offensively to get open? Yeah, it's it's very important for him to do that. Um, and he's doing a better job of finding, I call it finding windows as the penetration is coming, like finding the open area. And last game, there was a play. He missed the corner three, but there was a play. Uh, I think Scoot had the ball on the right-hand side. Jalen was running the left-hand side, and they might have had the lob, maybe, maybe not. And um, he didn't take the lob, but instead of stopping, he kept going and ran to the strong side corner, and Scoot gave it to him in the strong side corner for an open three. And that's some big-time growth and development as far as I don't have the – he. Didn't see me on the first option, but I need to find an open window for him as he penetrates down the floor. So um, little things like that are big things because, um, you know, we want to play fast and we want to play with space and we want to play well. But um, making sure that, that uh, we're doing stuff like that is important.